Okay, for our next live coding exercise, I'm going to demonstrate nested loops. A nested loop situation is when we have one loop inside another loop. And in this case, I'm going to use the for loop, and we're going to create a multiplication table. So I'm going to create a new project, call it multiplication table. And what I would like to do, I'm going to demonstrate in comments here, I'd like to print out something that looks like this. Your typical multiplication table. So let's see if I can build this format. Etc. So the first thing I need to do is print out the top header row. And I want some spaces in between the numbers, so I'm going to use tabs for that. So let's say console, right line, and I'm just going to go from yeah, 1 to 9. So we'll do the tab character, slash tab, that's an escape character, 1, slash tab 2, slash tab 3, etc. So that should print out 1 to 9 in between tabs. And let's make sure it does it. Let's put our console read line at the bottom, give ourselves some space for the rest of our code. Let's run the program real quick and see what it looks like. That looks pretty good for a header row. Now I'm going to actually build my table. And what I need to do is print out the numbers 1 to 9 down the side, and then for every one of those numbers, I want to do the math of those numbers multiplied against the header row each time. So first let's just see if we can print the numbers 1 to 9 down the side. We're going to need a for loop. I'm going to hit double tab and use my snippet. And I want i to start at 1. And I want it to keep going while it's less than or equal to 9. And count up every time. Let's do a console dot right line i. And again, let's run this. When we're actually working on a real program, I know in my live coding exercises, sometimes I just plow through the code because I already kind of know what I want to do. But if you're building a program for the first time, only do one thing at a time, and then try to run the program and watch the program grow. A lot of times beginning developers try to do too much at once and then you get all twisted up and, and lost, and it's just not a good situation to be in. So I'm kind of demonstrating, let's do one thing at a time, keep running the program, watch the program evolve. So I run this. I've got 1 to 9 across, and I've got 1 to 9 down. So that's pretty good. Now, when I write the row header, I want to change this from a right line to a right because I want the rest of the numbers to appear in the same row. But now that I've got i going from 1 to 9, when i is 1, I want to multiply 1 against every number from 1 to 9. So in this case I need another for loop because for every outer value, i, I want to loop from 1 to 9 and print the multiplication product of those two numbers. So I'm going to do another for loop. And this time I'm going to change my variable name to j, because it has to be unique. And I'm going to say j starts at 1 and goes to less than 9. And this is pretty typical for for loops. Uh, we'll have our outer variable be i. That's pretty standard. And then if we start nesting downward, the next one will be j, k, l. And that kind of helps us keep track of where we are in our nesting because it's in alphabetical order. So now I want to write the product of i and j. And I put these tabs up top, so I kind of want it to be tabbed over just like the other one. So let's put a tab character and then a substitution string. 
and the value that I want to put into the substitution string is i times j. And then when we get to the end of the row, I want to move to the next line. So an empty right line will do that. So let's space this out and review. Print out the header row. Start looping from 1 to 9. Print the row value and then loop from 1 to 9 again and for every value 1 to 9 multiply the row value by that number. So we'll get 1 times 1, 1 times 2, 1 times 3, etc, etc, etc. When this finishes, go to the next line, i becomes 2. Print a new row with 2 and then do 2 times 1, 2 times 2, 2 times 3, etc, etc, etc. And I think this will work. So let's run it, take a look. And it did. We have a multiplication table using nested loops.